First thing we're going to do is we're going to open the vise frame down to the second position and clean the inside of it and lubricate some of the points that you usually don't see or get to. To open the vise frame down to the second position, what you first want to do is take your delivery tray off, set it out of the way. And then you want to make sure your machine's in running position. Turn it on. And to get this to the second position, you want to drop your vice frame down onto the vice cap. And then stop it right there. Once you stop it there, you can open the handles. And on the liner type right down here, there's a little lever you pull and you can set the vice frame all the way down to where you can clean it, lubricate it, and just do whatever you have to in there. And we just want to brush out any metal chips that you have around the machine inside. You can inspect your wipers. You can inspect the, type, the top of your space band lever that pushes your space bands up. You can check your side knives. These are worn just a little bit. Your side knife wiper, you can check that. Make sure it's on there good and snug and it's tight. Check your uh, stud blocks. These two blocks are what lines up with the two studs on the mold wheel. When your mold wheel comes in, they line up here so that everything is straight and even up top. Also at this point, you can lubricate things in here easier. You want to lubricate your pot legs. A lot of people don't lubricate those, but they should have a little oil because these pot legs are sitting on the shaft down here. And as the pot rocks in and out, it causes wear on the shaft and also the pot bearings for each leg. So you can squirt a little oil underneath. Some machines, people have drilled a hole right here and actually put an oil cap in so you can oil them easier, but this particular machine they didn't do this to. This machine was assembled in Italy uh, from U.S. parts that they shipped over, but it's, uh, it's not an Italian machine, I don't think, but it was put together over there. I don't know how it wound back up over here. <clears throat> Some other oil points in here is you want a little bit of oil on these studs. This one is a movable stud, so a little bit of oil on the screws. This one does not move, it's stationary. On your justification lever, a little oil right on each one of these, down at the bottom. And there's some metal I missed down there. And inside here, you can just get the things easier and clean things up better when you have it open like this. This is your front mold wiper. There's a little stud right there that the drop of oil wouldn't hurt to be on every now and then. Your knife wiper does not need oil here. It needs oil up on the front shaft that's hiding right around the corner here. so that that moves freely. Now your jaws we'll do in the next segment on cleaning those and lubricating those. There's also a little oil spot right there. And down here on the bearing, there's a bearing that runs up and down. And <clears throat> not all machines will have this lever here. This is machine is equipped with a star quarter. The hydro quarters have different mechanisms on them that we're working with a machine that has a star water on it today. Right here, a drop of oil. Right in that area and that area so that all of this moves freely. There's also an oil point right here on the front of your mold disc. Be sure and hit that oil hole because your mold disc, I've had several this year that the mold disc was stopped it was just frozen where people have not been oiling it. They didn't know what that was. One of them actually had metal 
stuck in the hole from a squirt. So I had to remove these two, these three screws, take the plate off and clean the metal out of inside there. 